hi everyone welcome to this new tutorial of on my channel and in this video we'll be discussing how you can add more sites to a single open lightspeed web server as you can see i have already set up one wordpress website and you can watch my previous videos to install open lightspeed server and then wordpress on it link is in the description of this video so in this video we have one virtual host already set up for every new website you want to host on this open lightspeed server you need a virtual host so we basically need to clone the example virtual host so i'll open this uh, in new tab and then create a new virtual host here now we just need to copy it and just name example as another wherever it is written example i'll just change it with another and i will just copy the virtual host so as you can see i will just choose server id uid and everything is not set so i'll just leave everything and then save this now it says ki this file is not created create here so once i create this file so i can save the virtual host and now you can see i'll just go to the general section copy the document root paste in here and then enable the compression and save this section and then the thing is index files edit this and then choose to uh, type index.php comma index.html and then type the auto index url and then the next thing is express header just enable it and save it like this go to and then tick the yes the next thing is log section here you just need to copy it and just configure the same way it has been configured in example virtual host we'll just choose yes type the file name log level would be debug and then a 10 mb file size so this, then you can see i just have to configure the access log as well it's just the same way as in the example virtual host so I'm not doing anything uh, very unique, just uh, copying the example virtual host to another. You can see now I need to just configure the rewrite module now. Just go to rewrite and edit the rewrite control. Yes, yes. And then save it. Then rewrite map. You don't need to touch anything else. And once you hit save, and then refresh it and then go to your command line prompt and then first of all cd into the uh, server root which is usr slash local slash ws here you will find the example virtual host and now here we will create another virtual host uh, i'll name it another sudo mkdir another and then you will cd into that another folder and then you will create HTML folder here and inside this uh, let's cd into HTML and then here you can see there is no file I'll just uh, download HTTPS uh, latest.tar.zz with wget once this file is downloaded I'll just go ahead and uh, extract this zip file tar-xvf then the file name once I enter, it has been extracted to WordPress folder automatically. So, as you can see, uh, all the files are here in this directory. You just go back and change the ownership of this directory to nobody user and no group group. So, just type the path as the user local lsws another slash html slash WordPress. And once I hit enter, you can see that ownership has been changed to this directory you can see nobody and no group so now we are all set to configure it example2.com but as you can see it is showing 404 because we have not set the listener to listen on this virtual host so we will just create one virtual host mapping and choose another and type your domain name as example2.com and then save it once you save it to make it uh, live just restart gracefully and then you can see 
that you have set up your uh, WordPress successfully. Now just you need to create a database in your server. Just go ahead and sudo my SQL, create a database, create database, example, semicolon enter, then grant all on this database to a user identified by the password. So this is just like the same way you did for the first website for first WordPress install. So go ahead and type the database name, type the username, the, the password and hit submit. Once you hit submit, you'll see that installation went successfully and now you can create a user for your WordPress admin. You type your email. I'll type admin at example.com and click install WordPress. So once I hit install WordPress, uh, as you can see that uh, this has installed WordPress successfully and line. now I can log into this another website. Oops. So I'll type the right password here. So as you can see, I've successfully installed a WordPress uh, on the same open light speed web server. So now we have two websites, example one and example two. So in this video further, I'll won't speak but I will sh quickly show you how you can set up one more um, website here. So guys as you can see we have successfully configured third website on the same open light speed web server so go ahead check it out and install multiple websites on your open light speed server you can install SSL on, on all of them with uh, help of my video I have created videos on this topic as well so the link is in description so don't forget to subscribe guys thank you